Okay, so milestone three is on self-efficacy and there's gonna be a template. You're gonna answer um, questions to, to complete the assignment for the milestone. And a lot of what self-efficacy relates to is like your own kind of awareness with completing tasks and your ability to complete tasks. And, you know, it kind of relates to like positive psychology in the sense that, you know, if you have more of a positive attitude or, you know, kind of can envision yourself completing something that you will actually complete it as opposed to not having that, you know, think of like your own assignments for some of you, for example, and, you know, maybe you've had lower self-efficacy not that I'm calling anybody out, but, you know, lower self-efficacy with completing some assignments and stuff. And, you know, that, you know, your own kind of belief in, you know, being, and sometimes, it, you know, unfortunately it could be out of your control if you just have too much going on with life stuff. But, um, you know, that sometimes equates to like whether or not you achieve goals or not. Um, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to do a combination. It, this template shows you exactly where you need to like answer stuff. Um, and it's going to be like in these kind of blank boxes, both the blue box and then the ones underneath like the different sections. But for the first part, what you're going to do is um, you're going to uh, take some time to consider two goals that you have set for yourself. The goals you talk about, like that you're going to put in this template, they can be either short term goals and like hopefully, you know, in my class, uh, you know, we, we did a reflection on this last week about, you know, where you're at with goals and stuff and if you're achieving them or not. So hopefully that'll be helpful also with this milestone. But the two goals you put in the template for this milestone, they could be short term goals. So, you know, things like turning in a milestone assignment, turning in weekly assignments, or they could be long term goals like improving your public speaking still public speaking skills, um, you know, things like that. So, you know, you could do either one. You could have one short-term, one long-term goal. They could be both long-term goals. They could be both short-term goals. It's really kind of up to you and your discretion what you want to include. So what you'll do is you'll put your goal in these blue boxes and you're going to have two different goals. So you'll put like your first goal under goal number one in the blue box. And then you'll put goal number two, your second goal, again, on the left-hand side in the blue box. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna answer the questions in relation to that goal. Um, you're just gonna answer the different questions that go along with it. So in terms of answering the questions to the right of the blue box, and I'll kind of like walk through those, uh, they're basically gonna refer to five factors that influence self-efficacy. And the five different factors are these different items that are listed here. So, you know, the, basically the questions asked relate to the different aspects of self-efficacy. So, you know, they fall under performance experience. So the first question is what past experiences do you have with this? So like, you know, what is your experience with performing, you know, tasks relating to that goal you have? So, you know, say, for your first goal, it's to, you want to like get in better shape physically. So, you know, like performance experience, what past experiences do you have with that task? So you can say like, you know, I've had experience doing running. Um, I've done some long distance running. I've, I've done it in the past. I need to like continue to do more running in the future and get back into running. Um, vicarious experience is the second aspect of self efficacy you're going to answer on in this template. And that'll be explaining your observations of others who've completed this task. So that could be, you know, you have friends who, you know, are trainers and they've gotten in shape and, you know, done different exercises. So you talk about that. Social persuasion. What credible support do you have or can you receive? So do you have friends maybe who can help you? you know, stay motivated to get in shape? Do you have, you know, a trainer you work with who can give you tips and give you encouragement? You know, that's how you'd answer that question. Imaginal experience is the next one. And that's basically visualizing yourself completing the task. So what does that look like? So, you know, you just explain what achieving your goal looks like. You could say, you know, again, if it was to get in shape that I'm going to, um, 
be more toned physically. I'm going to lose five pounds. I'm going to feel healthier every day. That's what I visualize my experience looking like when I achieve my goal. And then the last one is EQ state. So this goes back to like, you know, the information about emotional intelligence and like, you know, your own emotional awareness, but explain how you feel physically and emotionally about this task. So, you know, what you want to talk about is, you know, the state you feel like you would be in once you achieve that task. So, you know, and you can also explain how you feel, you know, currently about it. Like, do you feel okay about it? Do you feel like you're, you know, um, overwhelmed with trying to achieve your goal? Do you feel like by achieving it, you'll be in a more positive state of mind? But you want to think about your emotional and physical feelings about that task. You know, will you feel better once you complete it? Will you feel healthier? Like I was saying, um, you know, will you feel uh, relieved once you have it completed? Do you feel like, you know, emotionally you're 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 feeling nervous about it. You can you can kind of reflect on both your present and future with the emotional state and how you feel about it. Um, and basically, what you're going to do is try to have about two to three sentences for each response in this different answering these questions for these two goals. So. You'll put the goal in the blue box on the left side and then have like two to three sentences answering each of these different aspects of how you feel in terms of, you know, again, uh, performing it, vicarious experience of others who've completed it. Um, socially, do you have supports? What you visualize it looking but like? And then um, how do you feel about that task? Do you feel like, you can do it? Do you feel like you, you know, will benefit from it? Do you feel nervous about it? Uh, are you physically, you know, excited about it? Do you, you know, physically, do you feel tired? You know, just think about some different aspects. And you can, you know, just clarify if you're talking about in the present. And then, you know, you can also explain how you might feel in the future about it. And then you'll do the same thing for your second goal. So think of, again, two goals, short term or long term. Um, then what you're going to do after completing those parts, you're going to answer two re reflection questions. So remember, like I've seen students in the past sometimes only do like, you know, answer the goals in the table and answer the questions and then forget about the reflection questions. Make sure you do both parts of this milestone. So, you know, not only are there like the answering the questions about self-efficacy on your two goals, but also the reflection questions. So make sure you answer both reflection questions as well. Now I'll quickly go over the reflection questions. And then after that, I'll stop the recording and see if there's any questions. But um, so with the reflection questions, the first one asks about the five factors above will help you build self-efficacy and confidence in the goals you have set. In a paragraph or two, explain your level of self-efficacy in completing these tasks. Please use each of the five factors above to support your reasoning. So basically what you're going to do for this question is talk about, you know, what you think your level of self-efficacy is in achieving those two goals you have. Do you feel like you have a high level of self-efficacy? Do you feel like you have kind of a moderate level? Do you feel like you have a low level of self-efficacy? Are you not very confident? It's basically like your level of confidence in completing the tasks. It's basically what the question is asking for. Try to have at least one paragraph. One to two paragraphs is what the assignment asks for. So, you know, if you can have two, great. If you, you know, have at least one though answering the question. So I'd have at least about three sentences minimum answering this. And, uh, you know, think about, again, like, you know, use those answers you made in this, you know, these different parts here for the two goals in terms of answering this question about your level of self-efficacy. So, you know, if you have a high level of self-efficacy, talk about why that is. Is it because, you know, you have a, a strong, you know, social support group of friends who can help you achieve these goals? 
Is it because you know you're super motivated with your EQ state and you you're you're really you know it's important to you emotionally to achieve it? Is it because you know you have a great vivid imagination and can envision great things with you doing it? Um, you know, you have a lot of experience maybe with some of the tasks it requires, you know, provide some examples from, you know, these different things you answered in the table above to help you answer this question. So that's basically what you're going to do. Just provide some explanation, you know, first clarify how confident you feel in achieving those goals and then explain, you know, why you feel that way. If you're not confident, you know, talk about some of the challenges with self-efficacy and where you have limitations based on what it's asking for above. So that's the first reflection question. Um, and then in the second question, again, one to two paragraphs and provide or respond to the following two questions. Which of the five factors required to build self-efficacy are strengths for you? So, you know, these different factors you're answering questions for on your two goals, which of these ones, um, which of these five, which of the five factors uh, are strengths for you? So you can have, you know, try to have at least one. If you have multiple ones, that's fine. But identify which of these factors, you know, these factors on the right here are strengths for you. So is social persuasion a strength for you? Is performative experience? Is vicarious experience? Is EQ state? Um, is that a strength for you? You know, try to identify and discuss the ones that are strengths for you and why in one paragraph. And then um, also, how can you use those strengths to improve some of the other factors influencing self-efficacy? So basically what that's asking for is how can you use some of these factors that you have strengths in to influence the ones maybe you have challenges with? So, you know, maybe you're really good with vicarious experience in, you know, social persuasion from others. And you can use that to improve your emotional state because you have somebody to keep you motivated and you have, um, you know, a vivid imagination to make it not as difficult when you're going through the process. So talk about like, you know, how you can use some of those ones that you identified as strengths, how they can help you to better improve upon the, uh, uh, those factors that you're maybe not so great in. So that's basically what you're going to do for the assignment. So again, you know, for both reflection questions, one to two paragraphs each, make sure you identify two goals, write the goals here. So, you know, provide your answer in the action. And then you're not going to like turn this in as like a separate document. You're literally going to use this template that's provided in the milestone assignment. You're going to download this, save it, and then answer in the template and submit this template with your answer. So just provide the answers like, you know, again, just type the text in for the two goals, you know, and answering the questions about the different aspects of self-efficacy, and then providing your answers for the reflection questions in the box below the questions that are asked for. So I'm going to actually stop the recording now and then open it up to